are some things that people need to remember about strong people because we are losing way too many of them to depression and suicide. Strong people are masterminds of masking their pain because they don't want to be a bother to those around them. They know how to laugh instead of cry. They know how to change the subject. They know how to give the false illusion of happiness. Strong people can have a beautiful family and a million friends, but still feel like the loneliest person in the world. And that's probably because strong people have more enemies than they do friends. They always have people around them who are looking for a reason to accuse them or take advantage of them. Strong people have trust issues. It's hard for them to tell who's there for them because they want their friendship or what they can do for them. Strong people feel like they have to live up to everyone's expectations of always having it together. And for some strong people, it's not that it's a matter of pride. It's the fear of letting others down. Strong people sit by the phone wishing that someone would call them, not to ask of any favors, not for any advice, but just to talk. Although they love helping others and hosting dinners, strong people get tired of being the one who's always extending the invitation. Strong people wish that sometimes people would just turn the tables and call them and invite them over for dinner. Strong people who fight to protect and for truth are often labeled as troublemakers by the people who are actually causing trouble. Strong people are often surrounded by people who are too weak or too afraid to fight for themselves. Strong people often make the mistake of not taking the time to rest or seek God for guidance. And whether they mean to or not, they eventually start making man-led decisions instead of God-led decisions. Technology has replaced human interaction to the point that it's literally killing our people. And we have to remember, love isn't what it says, it's what it does. You can pray all day long, but faith without works is dead. Don't just talk about it, be about it. When it comes to our strong people, go to them. If a strong person has not called you in a while, do not take it personal. Maybe the phone is acting up. Maybe they are going through. Or maybe they're just busy helping someone else other than you. Do for them what you've always expected for them to do for you. Call them and see if everything is okay. The enemy is going to attack a strong person because he knows that others draw from their strength. So if you can break them down, he's going to do it. If he can get in their head, he's going to do it. If he can convince them that they are not valuable here on earth, he's going to do it. And if you don't feel like you are strong, if you don't feel like you have what it takes to make it, I want you to know that that's not true. The fact that you are still here is a true indication of your strength. You are strong. You are loved. You are needed. You can do it. God has not forsaken you, and he does hear your prayers. Keep going. Keep pushing, keep moving, because what you're going through right now, what you're feeling right now, is going to be a testimony that's going to help to save the next person's life. Keep strong. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You've got this.